Today, we're diving into five Microsoft Team applications for work. These are some smashing ones that have been pulled together by Matt, a collaboration coach. You can find him here on YouTube and check out some of his courses below. We're gonna dive into five Microsoft Team apps, and I'm sure you'll love it if you're looking to supercharge your Microsoft Teams. Thank you very much, folks. Please do join us here, both on Collaboration Coach and Keep Productive. Hello, everyone. I'm Matt from Collaboration Coach. Thanks to Francesco for having me back on Keep Productive. And this time I've got my pick of five of the best apps for Microsoft Teams. Polly is a survey app for Microsoft Teams. You can create surveys and add them to Teams channels, group chats, and use them in meetings. When you add the Polly app to a channel, you can manage your surveys and create new ones. When you create, it helps you to get started by asking you what your goal is. You can choose an audience, and then a template, and there are lots to choose from. You can add the survey to a channel post or send it directly to the members of the channel. Surveys can be shared in the channel or across your organization. You can also save any survey you make as a template, and you can use the template wherever you create a new survey. Once your survey has been completed, you can share it with your audience. You can view the responses and download them to Excel, and all surveys can be edited and duplicated. During a meeting, Polly can be used to survey your attendees. You can create new surveys in the meetings, or you can use your custom or out-of-the-box templates. Polly is free to use, but there is a limit on how many responses you can have each month, so you can upgrade with a payment plan. Karma is a way of highlighting good work that people have done. You can add the Karma app to your team's channel, and then anyone in the team can send rewards with a channel post. To send Karma, you start a new post, you add the Karma app to it, and then you choose who you want to send the Karma to. That can be one or many people in the team. And then you add a score, and the score is how much Karma you want to send. This can be exchanged for real life rewards later, and more on that in a minute. You can choose a goal that you think the good work aligned to, and whether it's public or private. Then you add a description to explain what they did. And when you submit it, everyone in the team sees it in the chat post. The team channel has a Karma dashboard. And this shows how much Karma has been received and what real life rewards are up for grabs. And there's a leaderboard showing who has received the most. So there's an element of gamification here too. If you have the Karma app installed, you can see more info on who's received and granted karma, and you can view that by date and goal. When you're rewarded karma points, they add up. You can see on the rewards tab which ones you're entitled to, and you can redeem them to earn the prize. And finally, there's a reports page that shows you how your team is doing as a whole and who the top performers are. Karma has a 30-day free trial and after that, it's $10 a month for each team. If you like what you see so far, then why not check out my YouTube channel, Collaboration Coach. It's full of news, updates, and how-tos on all the apps you'll find in Microsoft 365, including Teams, SharePoint, OneNote, and Planner. This next app is one of Microsoft's own and is focused on well-being. Bieber Insights tracks data about the emails you send and the meetings, calls, and chats you have. It turns that information into insights. It can then make recommendations on how you can build better work habits. Viva Insights is a collection of features that aims to help you improve the way you work. For example, protecting time. Insights can look into your calendar and see where there are gaps. It can book time in the openings to ensure that you can focus and limit your distractions. During those times, it can change your team status to focusing so your team can't disturb you. It can also help you stay connected with your team. If you don't have a one-to-one -one scheduled with your manager, for example, it can suggest a time when you're free and send the invitation for you. And a bit like Karma, you can send praise to your teammates that will post the praise to a channel so everyone can see. It can also track how you're feeling. If you tell Insights how you're feeling regularly, you can track your mood over time. And there are other features like mindfulness exercises provided by Headspace and the Inspiration Library, where you'll find articles and videos on well-being. 
Microsoft says that the data these insights are based on is private and it lets you opt out of collection if you want to. Viva Insights is free on all the business and enterprise plans of Microsoft 365. I love automation and Workflows is another app from Microsoft that does just that. Workflows lets you build simple, no code process automation right inside of Teams. There are lots of templates that you can choose to get started and you can quickly link up the apps in and outside of Microsoft 365. You can search and pick a template that links to the apps that you need to use in your flow. You can sign into all the apps and in a couple of clicks you're done. Now the workflow can be added to a channel post or a chat. Workflows uses Microsoft's Power Automate under the covers. So all the flows you create can be edited to extend or enhance your flow. And Power Automate is also an app that can be used inside of Teams. All the Atlassian apps for Teams are great, but probably the best for features is Trello. Trello allows you to manage your team's tasks in workspaces and you can create boards and store your tasks in lists. Then you can manage your boards in Teams. You can add your Trello boards to a channel with a tab. One tab can contain one board and you can have as many as you like. In the board, tasks are represented by cards and you can create new cards and add as much or as little detail as you need, including labels, files and checklists. And you can assign those cards to members of your team. You can create new lists for your board and you can add automation to a task too. In Trello, these are called rules. So for example, when a card is added to a list, the list could sort itself by a due date. And there is a nice rule creator too. And it can trigger rules automatically based on activity like a card moving a list or a date changing. Trello has a free plan which has most of the features you'll need to get started, but you can level up if you think you're gonna need the premium features. I think Trello is the best task management app for Teams. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. So there you have my pick of the five best apps for Microsoft Teams. If I've missed your favorite app, make sure you tell us about it. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, Collaboration Coach, for loads more Microsoft news and tutorials. And I'll see you next time.